for all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, Prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, illstreetrex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics.com and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Boss Man Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Joined by a special guest friend of the show, uh, coach of the NTSU Blue Raiders, won a conference a title this weekend in Birmingham, and we're joined by Kermit Davis, coach. Uh, how are things in the borough today, man? Busy, busy, just <laughs> watching tape right now and trying to get ready for the scout, and so had a good practice today. So uh, looking forward to getting on the road tomorrow. Yes, sir, coach. You won a conference a tournament. Back to back seasons now for for your university coach. So how how are the team feeling about it? You know, you your guys won thirty games this year, better than last year's squad record wise. So how are you feeling about your team going into this tournament here? I think we're playing very well. Uh good mindset with our team. I think they're excited about leaving tomorrow. We were very active in practice today, so uh, so I feel good. Yeah, coach, for those who aren't familiar with uh the middle Tennessee state excuse me, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders, like JR and I are. Who were the key players that helped you get the NCAA tournament this year? You know, uh, three really all-league players, uh, Reggie Upshaw, Ja'Cory Williams, Giddy Potts. 
good players. We got great play from a freshman point guard, Tyreek Dixon. And uh, but really those three guys, the first three I mentioned, were guys that really carried us, uh, especially down the stretch. And coach, I really feel like Jacory Williams uh, would really be very great, great, great for your team. And coach, let's speak to what you can mean if somebody can have success going to a new new place, redemption, and get a second, second chance to play for you. He didn't have a good thing in Arkansas, but coming to you, he has playing well. His, his characters even got better for you. And how did you feel about just him as a person, coach? Well, Jacory's a real talented guy, and he's made so much strides during his redshirt year. He's an unbelievable teammate. He's going to graduate in May. And so we're just excited about his progress. He, he's become a much better player and gained weight. And so he has really impacted our program about as good as any first-year player in college basketball. Now, Coach, you mentioned that he's going to be uh, graduating here. And, and we often like to talk to coaches about the academic side of the game that you guys are involved in. So, you know, what does that mean? Long term to not only Jacory but to all the players that come through your program, having that college degree and be able to go out into the world with that uh, ammunition in their pocket. How big of a deal is that? Well, you know, it's uh, obviously we have in May will be 52 straight basketball players in a row that have graduated that have exhausted their eligibility. Uh, we're one of seven teams in the NCAA tournament last year to win a game and have a 100% graduation rate. The others are like Duke, Kansas, Butler. Today it came out in USA Today, or ESPN, that there's only 12 teams in the NCAA tournament field that has a 100% graduation rate. We're one of them. So it's great to be able to equate, you know, winning with, uh, with great academics. Now, Coach, assessing this year's team versus last year's team, do you feel that th- this year's is even better than last year's, um, you know, being that you upset Michigan State? You know, last year's team had a five man who could make threes and uh, Darnell Harris, but yep, we're more athletic. We're a year older, uh, better depth this year going to the tournament. We're healthy. We weren't healthy last year going to the tournament. So I loved our team last year, but we're probably a better, deeper team this year. Now, Coach, I remember I came here to watch you guys play against Ron Hunter's team, the Panthers, Georgia State there. You spoke about it plus having to coach the effort and having and the guys kind of lay the egg that game because you had to coach them to effort. Do you feel like that at Christmas break, getting away from everything, was the turning point for your team season to go on the run you win in, in conference play? Yeah, you know, it was the last game for the break. Uh, Georgia State played really well. And uh, I guess since then we've won 20 out of 21 played really well, and so maybe that was a, uh, a time that the break came at a perfect time. Now, Coach, I know, um, you know, you, the, the the seeding process is, is crazy. You know, when you get to the tournament, it's it's tough to seed these these teams, but do you feel that you should have maybe been seeded a little bit higher? Um, you know, you guys went 30 and 4, and you only lost one game in conference play. Where do you come out on, on getting that 12 seed? I know, you know, it's great to be there, but do you think you should have went a little higher? Well, it was great to be there, but it makes us worry about going forward. You know, I mean, we are ranked in the top 25 in the country and won 30 games. Six teams have done that. Our RPI is 35. Our non-conference strength of schedule is 18. When they put the brackets out, we're the 48th team. So mm, that, that makes you worry about what exactly you have to do in years to come. So, yeah, we were. Uh, we, we really have to uh, – you know, at the schedule, and all, the rest of our league has got to play better. I hear that, Coach. And, Coach, you know, it, 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 for me, it's watching it, you know, as I watch your team, it, it hurt me because I'm like, really? You putting Milton C a 12 seed? Because, you know, you guys have been playing lights out ball. You got beat by, you know, Georgia State team was tough to play. You know, Tennessee State came into your place. You know, a team that was good, good doing OVC. UTEP is a conference rival. So you lost games that, you know, that you can, you can kind of talk to while you lost them. And you, which you win 30 games. You can't do that to somebody. Which Wichita State, too, another team as well, Coach, who we feel like should have got a higher seed just like you should have. Yep, but, you know, you're happy to be in the tournament. Sometimes the seeds don't matter. It's about matchups, and uh, we've got a good Minnesota team on Thursday, and so I think our guys will be excited and ready to go. Yes, sir. Coach, what would be the keys to that game from what you've seen on film so far for your guys beating Richard Pitino's team and the Minnesota Golden Gophers? Oh, just, you know, we've got to be a better version of ourselves. We, uh, a rebounding game or a physical Big Ten team, man-to-man, 
really good guards, two excellent big guys, you know, won eight in a row in the Big Ten. So we just got to do who we are, take care of the ball. We've done that all year long, got to score in transition, points off turnovers, just kind of the basic things that have made our team really good. Hey, Coach, I've often wondered, getting into you know the, the big dance, the NCAA tournament, how does your preparation differ at all? It does it differ at all for, for these games. I mean, it's got to be a huge level of excitement for the team. How do you tamp that down a little bit and keep them focused on the, the task at hand? Yeah, you just got to keep emphasizing same things. You got to go through the same process. Uh, it's a little bit different because you travel a day earlier and different things. But, you know, you got to keep you got to keep going. You can't skip steps during the week. You can't just try to get to Thursday. You can't just try to get to Milwaukee. So we had a good practice today and preparation and film sessions and the whole thing. So uh, it really is. It's just basic things. If you lose your identity and try to get away from other things, then you won't be successful in this tournament. Well, Coach John, I'll definitely be cheering for you guys and hoping you get an upset against Minnesota and keep on going, Coach. Hopefully the Sweet 16 and Father Coach. So we're definitely looking forward to seeing you guys play on Thursday here. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you having me on. All right, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, it's Kermit Davis here on the Boss Man Show. All your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, Prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENC, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech, and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics.com and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Bossman Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. 
Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you.